Hello and welcome everybody, Masus here, hope you're doing well. Uh, as you know, we previously developed this uh, application together. We first uh, completed uh, our community tab and then we went for explorer tab and also our fancy sidebar. For today's episode, I'm going to complete the favorites tab and liking each image feature and also completing the search uh, functionality. For the guys that are new to my channel, I'm Masood, I'm making free content tutorials about front-end topics every week. Uh, they are totally free and if you want to support me to make more content in this area, you can do it uh, right now using the subscription button down below or even if you like, you can uh, share your comments with me in the comment section or put a thumbs up underneath this video okay uh, it's our favorite tab file i'm going to extend this component let's first remove this text because it's not necessary now uh, i need a view here like before and set my style using styles first let's create our style sheet and then go to continue it uh, const styles is equal to style sheet create and I'm going to have a main container for our view object and justify content is going to be center and what else we just need to set flex to one actually to use all the space and here styles that main container I should import it from React Native. Yes, and also the view. Okay. And within it, I need to show a flat list for our items. So I'm using flat list and first let's specify our data using props favorites and as before we also need render item function as we will write it later render wrap and Key extractor should be another function with I. I'm going to use ID for our key here, and number of columns can be two columns per row and list empty component. We can specify a component actually if we didn't have any data to show we can show a custom message to the user that for example there is no data so let's write a new function for it and yeah that's it first of all I need to write render function and like before I'm going to get my item in this way and just return another view with a short style just setting the flex to one and maybe it's better to write it here row style flex one and 
flex direction should be column, I guess, and set a little bit margin for it. Yes. And let's remove it and add styles now style for it and within it I want to show a thumbnail so let's import it from native base and it's going to have another style styles image thumbnail and source should be URI equals to item URL. I also need to add it here. Let's make it camel case. It's better, I guess. Oh. I broke something. Just want to lowercase it. Why should I spend much time for it? Raw style and image thumbnail is going to be first justify content should be center align items should be center again because I want to centralize it. I want to set width to 100% and set the hang to 600 pixels and yeah that's enough I guess and yeah we just need to write this function return view style is equals to styles empty list we can add it here empty list and a little bit margin on top and set justify content to center and our items to center again. And within this view, I just want to have a text and show, for example, the this the list is empty. That's it. Do we import the text? Yes. I don't need any state for it. Now I just need to uh, pass the props from the homepage component to this component to be shown here. So let's go for homepage and here we have favorites state. I don't know how I written it here or not yeah I just need to set favorites equals to this state favorites and I guess we need to from the explorer section let me check add to do we have it here now I guess it must be here add to favorites yeah here inside the image I use add to favorites function uh, which is null now because we haven't passed it to this image component yeah here I just need to write it and pass it from the home page 
to the explorer tab and from the explorer tab to image item which is the image component so first let's write it inside this function add to favorites it accept two parameters the first one is item and the second one is our callback I will explain you why do I need to write callback here first let's write a variable and set a copy using object assigned from our estate State favorites. Actually, this line just copy this this uh, state to a new variable, which we can uh, use it and change it without being worried about our state value. And I need a index from favorites. Find index for the item which has same ID from item.id uh, actually here we are searching in the favorites array for this item that we have added to our favorites and I should check the result of index if it is minus one it means that the item wasn't exist inside favorite uh, array so in this case i just want to add add the item into my array so just write item and in the else case I just want to remove it because this function is some kind of toggle function we could name it toggle favorites it could be better okay favorites splice and index one it means that let's first uh, find my item and then remove one item at this index which is the index of the current item and i need to set the state favorites okay i just need to pass it as I said to explore tab yeah here add to favorites these add to favorites and here add to favorites equals to this props add to favorites let's test it go to the explorer tab and for example I want to add these three images to my favorites yeah you can see that they are added if I add one another you will see that they are split into two columns and yeah that's it and if I click on it it will be removed from my favorites because of Mm, where was it here because of this if section okay uh, let's go for our search functionality here in the home page file actually index.js we have two empty functions that we need to fill them uh, for for example on query change uh, I need to set the state with the new value so I'm going to set 
state and set the query to the value and in the on search click I'm going to again set the state with uh, first I need the previous value of my state using this way you can have it and I want to set the search bar to the opposite value state search bar and set the query to an empty text because uh, when we click on it it should uh, toggle the search bar here and then uh, set the previous text to empty what is wrong here oh, I miss one parenthesis yeah if I go to the explorer tab I search oh I guess I need to add on search click to uh, we need to remove these parentheses for this one cannot find variable item where is it it must be here yeah I should import item from native base I guess let's add it here yeah as you can see it works properly now let's test it cars cat yeah and if I click on this icon it will be uh, hidden and the query will will be empty text okay that's it for today I think it's enough we almost finished everything that we need for this project hope you learned a lot and happy coding everyone